If you really want to create beautiful websites using a WordPress block theme, then you absolutely 100% have to understand content widths and page widths and how to set and control them when you're building out your sites. But it's a bit confusing, especially when you first start using a WordPress block theme. But in today's video, in just over three minutes, I'm going to explain everything for you. Before I dive into the site editor, here are the four widths you need to know. This is it. It's pretty simple. The first one is the normal width. If you add a paragraph block into your page, it will take on the normal content width of your page. Then you have wide content width, which is slightly wider. It lets you break free of the normal content width. Then you have the full width option. This is the full width of your website. And then finally, you have a custom width, so you can choose any width you like. To make this as simple as possible for you to follow along, I split my screen into two. In the left-hand screen, I've got the site editor. Over in the right-hand screen, I've actually got the page that I'm gonna edit and explain things. To get to the global styles to set your page widths, you just come in here and come to styles, then click on this little pencil icon up here, then come down here and click on layout. And here we have the three page widths that I just spoke about. You'll notice there's only two though, because we don't need a full width layout here because full width is full width. So we don't need to have a setting for this. Let's start with the content width. This is the default width of any content that you add into your page. So at the moment, mine is 620 pixels wide. Over on the right, you'll see that. So I've added a paragraph block in here. This paragraph block is 620 pixels wide by default. If I want to change that width globally, I can just jump in here and I can change the content width. And you'll see when I refresh this page over on the right now, that that content width will grow accordingly. And this is a global setting. So this applies to all my pages. So if I had a thousand pages, all those thousand pages would take that new content width of 780 pixels. Then we come to the second option here, which is wide width. Wide width is fantastic for blocks that you want to break free of the normal content width restrictions. For example, a video block or a call to action block or a gallery block. You can see over on the right here, I've made this block wider than the normal content because I've selected wide width when I've added the block. You can see at the top here, here's the option. So I've just added the gallery block and selected wide width. If I'd select none, then that would conform to the normal content restrictions. Then we come to the third option, which is full width. Now to repeat myself, you won't see an option in the global styles for full width because full width is full width. We don't need an option for it. Here's a block that I've added, the media and text block, which is really snazzy, and I've made it full width. But you can see at the top here, I have three options. I can make it normal default width, wide width, or full width. And then the final option is custom width. You can set any width you like for any of your blocks, but you need to group them to be able to do this. So what I've done here is I've added a group block with a paragraph block within it. And then over on the right, you can see I've got some settings. Now by default, when you add a block within a group block, it will take on the proportions of your default content width. So at the moment, this block here is 620 pixels wide. You can see this little toggle over here that says inner blocks use content width because my default content width at the moment is 620 pixels. But I can change this. If I want to increase the content width of just this block, I can literally type in here and you can see now that's breaking free of the normal content width restriction. So to achieve this layout, I've added the group block and set that group to be full width, but I've also set the inner block to be 250. So with normal content width, wide content width, full content width, and custom content width, you should be able to control pretty much anything on the page to achieve the layout you want. I hope you found that useful. If you did, if you can give it a thumbs up, it would be fantastic because it makes a huge, huge, huge difference in terms of how many people actually get to see this video. Oh, and also coming up in just a few weeks, we have a special WordPress 6.7 live stream with me, Nick Diego and Rich Table, where we'll show you all the highlights. Plus there's a Q&A session. So hit subscribe if you want to see that. Thank you so much for watching. Keep well and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.